the 1980s fundamentally changed India's political landscape and planted the seed for an economic revolution. However, the period began with Indira Gandhi returning to power and beginning her third term as the Prime Minister of India. In 1981, the Infosys was formed in Pune. Maruti Suzuki 800 became the talk of the town. And Rage Sharma even went to the space abroad the Soyuz T-11 rocket. That, that, that was quite a gen leap. Well, 1980 was the period of when India started to feel the impact of globalization. In sports, Indian hockey team won gold in Moscow Olympics and the Indian cricket team lifted the cricket world up in 1983. These are one of the many achievements the country achieved during this period. So, it's, 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 it was quite an achievement for India. The first half of the decade was marred by the Khalistan movement, Operation Blue Star and the violence in Punjab. Uh, which was followed by the assassination of Indira Gandhi and the slaughter of Sikhs in Delhi in 1984. It was quite a dark period. I mean, not as worse as emergency, but yeah, it was dark. Following her death, Rajiv Gandhi came to power. In the same year, a gas leak from the Union Carbide Indian Limited plant in Bhopal exposes 5 lakh people living in nearby areas to poisonous methyl isocyanate. Down in the south, um, well, India was forced to send peace corps to Sri Lanka in 1987 to fight LTTE. So India was facing so many problems, you know, outside the country as well. Rajiv Gandhi years are largely remembered today by the Bofor scandal which marred the good uh, start and fresh thinking he had brought into the country. Unpopular policies and corruption led to VP Singh government coming to power in 1987. Bad time for Rajiv.